Hi Libra, welcome to your February 2018 reading with me, Raphael Ray from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for all of your continued support. Thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, subscribes, your comments. It all keeps me going in this direction and it keeps me loving what I do. So I'm eternally grateful for that. So before we start, um, I would like to say, obviously, I'm doing things slightly different this year, as you will have seen with the yearly videos, as are the first ones that I've ever done. Um, I'm really glad that you guys are still enjoying, or are actually enjoying them. Um, I've got this board, which we're doing a, a new layout, and um, yeah, lots of new and exciting things coming this year. Different topics of discussion, different videos as well. So, I would like to call into both of these decks, all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance and I hope that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So let's see what February has in store for you Libra. So in your actions and in your interactions with the world at large, uh, this is what you will do this month, what you are likely to embark on. Uh, you have the Three of Swords. Okay, so Libra, this is you making the decision to part ways with something or someone. This is you making the decision to finally walk away from something. I say that because the Three of Swords is a card of separation. It means letting go of something or cutting something away. Why do we have three swords piercing the heart? Well, we have the three swords piercing the heart because this is us separating ourselves from something. It's us cutting something off. And usually when we, um, when we let something or someone go or we have that process of separation, it tends to be that it's followed by a grieving process and it hurts in some way, shape or form. So this is kind of talking about you guys. Your actions this month are very much going to be about you separating yourself from a thing, a person person, a situation. For some of you it could be a job, deciding that you're ready to move on to something else. Um, you know, this is very much a card, you know, the number three is about transformation anyway, because it represents the life, death uh, and rebirth cycle. So it's kind of like that cyclic uh, nature that all of us go through as human beings that we can tap into. And it also represents you, like I said, removing something from your life. Um, swords are cards of the intellect. So this is something that you will have given a lot of thought to. It's not a, a decision that you're embarking on lightly. And it's not something that you're choosing to do just willy-nilly. This is something that you've really put a lot of time, thought and effort into and have decided that it would be in your best interest to move on or remove this thing or this person from your life. Uh, and as I said, because, you know, separation usually, it's, uh, um, it's followed with a, a grieving process of some sort. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of like your actions this month are very much about letting things go. Okay, so next in your money and your materials. This is uh, your finances, this can be your home, it can be your car, it could be your health, it can, you know, because your money and your materials doesn't just represent the things that you own, it can also represent your physical self as well, you know, the material manifestation of who you are. And you have, as has just jumped out, the Queen of Swords. So who is the Queen of Swords as a person? The Queen of Swords is usually an air sign female. And this would be an Aquarius, a Libra, just like yourselves. Um, you know, so in effect, actually, you've come up in your own reading, um, which is a powerful position to have. So it can be an air sign, so which would be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. This is usually an air sign female. And the thing is with the, the Queen of Swords, she's usually somebody that is older than the person that you're reading for. This is usually somebody that can be like a mother or a grandmother. It can be somebody that's seen as a mentor. Uh, so, you know, they may not be older than you, but it would be somebody that you see as not necessarily above you, but it is somebody that you see as a peer, somebody that you would go to a for advice because the Queen of Swords is very wise, she's very um, astute, she's very aware, she's very intelligent and she uses that intelligence to the best of her ability and she also uses that intelligence for um, the people that she cares for in their best interest as well. So it's a really powerful card in that respect. Uh, when she represents a specific zodiac sign, the Queen of Swords represents the sign of Libra because she's kind of tapped into that justice card um, energy and justice is actually ruled by uh, Libra. 
So effectively you come up in your own reading, in your money and your materials. Um, the other thing about some of the attributes that you can uh, you know, attribute to uh, the Queen of Swords is that she's very forthright, so she's very sharp. Sometimes her tongue can be like a sword, literally. But swords can be used for defence as well. And also the Queen of Swords, while she may be very forthright, she is also very fair. That's one thing that you have to say about the Queen of Swords. She's, you know, very much like justice. She's very balanced and she speaks from the heart and from conviction and, you know, very much from a point of logic. But she's also very, very fair. She will give you your dues and give you your points. Uh, for those of you that are looking for a pay rise, um, this is the month to seek it. This is the month to put the feelers out and say to your employer or to your job, look guys, um, you know, I would like to get paid more for what I do. I value what I do and this is what I feel like I should be compensated for it. Um, in terms of your living situation, this kind of tells me, like in terms of your materials as in your home, this kind of tells me that it's very much about uh, you making sure that everything is covered. Um, you know, this, this is going to be the month where you make sure that you're uh, financially secure, that you have everything that you need, that um, if there's anything in disrepair, this is you kind of making sure that that is taken care of or it's rectified. Uh, if those of you that are renting, you could speak to your landlord and say, look, I want this fixed this month or, you know, it's certainly in the near future I would like this rectified. And you will get, you know, because it carries that kind of justice energy. So it's like what you get, as long as it is reasonable, whatever you ask for you will be granted this month um, so it looks really good actually uh, in terms of finances uh, but it's very much going to be about you speaking up and not demanding more than you know is fair okay in your communications so this is your communications what what you say how you say your letters your text messages your social media interaction it's all forms of communication The star card, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. This tells me that this month there will be a lot of interaction going on online. There'll be a lot of emails, there'll be a lot of text messages, there'll be a lot of correspondence with people at a distance, you know, with a lot of correspondence with people overseas this month as well. Why do I say that? So the star card represents the sign of Aquarius. And Aquarius is all to do with technology, it's all to do with the new, it's all to do with, um, you know, the star card itself represents international travel. It represents anything that is foreign or different or other than yourself, than what you know, than who you know. Um, and for that reason, because Aquarius, you know, represents the world in that respect, it's, you know, everybody, it's the world tribe. The star card talks about hope, it talks about a glimpse into the future at the best outcome that you can have, at the best outcome that you could ask for, for a goal or a hope or a dream that you have. And that's actually a really strong position to be in. The star card talks about innocence and it also talks about trust. Uh, this month, you will start to garner and offer a lot more trust in your communications. It's like you're finding ways to really be open and honest and, um, and express exactly what you want and how you um, would like it to manifest. This is kind of, I see your communications being very much say what you mean and mean what you say. And that's going to be like a really, really great foundation for your communications this month because it means that you can trust what you're being told. You can trust the information that's coming back from the other side. And as I said, because this card represents the sign of Aquarius, your long distance, so we're talking about emails from the other side of the world, uh, you know, a lot of people interacting with people in America. Um, why? Because this card has got quite strong links to um, Aquarius. The star card has quite strong links to um, America because it's such a new nation in relative relativity to, you know, some of the older nations and whatnot. Um, but this, yeah, this very much talks about long distance communication. So emails with people from other countries, um, text messages, all of that stuff. This is big communication, but it happens uh, online through the wire. This isn't necessarily in person. For a select few of you, it will be somebody coming to visit from a distant place uh, and, you know, you uh, interacting and communicating with them on another level. The interesting thing as well is an Aquarian female, why do I say that? 
Remember what I said to you about the Queen of Swords, it can be any one of the air signs. Uh, an Aquarian female is going to give you a lot of, so the star card, Aquarius, and this is one of the fun things that I love about this spread. You can start to read the cards separately and then you read them in, conju in conjunction. So an Aquarius female is going to give you um, understandings or different perspectives on how you can generate finance, on ideas that could make you money. This person could also be a soundboard for the ideas that you have to generate more wealth and more prosperity for you, um, which is really, really exciting. Um, and I kind of feel like this is somebody coming to visit you from overseas, from a distance. So in the month of February, this is you connecting with somebody at a distance. Um, very, very exciting. Uh, so, you know, there'll be a lot of communication online, but there'll also be somebody visiting your home uh, who is from a far away place. And then finally, in your heart and your heart. So this is your relationships and your emotions. The Page of Swords. Okay, so Page of Swords is a really good card. It represents opportunities, it represents job interviews, it represents communications on job interviews. Uh, this month, you will probably find that somebody quite close to you uh, is giving you an idea of how far you can reach or how far you can um, take one of your ideas. And it also says that um, the mind is going to be really sharp this month. You guys are going to be thinking 10 to a dozen, but not in a way that exhausts you. You're going to be thinking 10 to a dozen um, in a way that you know helps expand how you actually feel and it helps you express how you feel. For those of you that are in uh, couples or relationship um, situations already, this is very much about you staying open with your communication and um, doing things or, or finding opportunities of mutuality. Um, so this is you know allowing somebody to express how they feel and you expressing how you feel so that the interaction between you just grows. For those of you that are sim single, interaction comes to you online. It comes to you from people that you meet online, whether this is a dating app, whether it's a dating site, whether it's people that you meet on social media that you just happen to click with. Uh, a lot of what happens for people that are single, you single Libras out there, this is you finding, um, yeah, finding somebody that you're interested in or that is interested in you online through the wire, because we've got another air card here. So Libra, this month for you, um, and in terms of your family interactions as well, listen to the young people. I kind of feel like, because the pages can also represent children, um, and they're also markers of consciousness, as I say. Um, this is about listening to the young people uh, and making sure that the younger people in your family situation have a chance to be heard. You know, just because somebody's young doesn't mean that they don't have something valuable to add to a conversation or a situation. And sometimes that outside perspective from a younger person who isn't so jaded or um, conditioned by life can give you a real insight into how things actually are as opposed to how you would like to see them. So yeah, Libra, this is all air. So you've got the Three of Swords, air. You've got the Queen of Swords, air. You've got the Star card, Aquarius, that's air. And then you've got the Page of Swords. So this is very much gonna be a month where the mind is working really, really sharp, really powerful. Um, you're gonna be having lots of ideas. Keep a pen and pad handy because you're gonna be going over things you know, constantly, you will have ideas ten to a dozen, you will be in a space where you're really able to think at lightning speed and able to process information at an alarming rate. So your actions and your money, the way that you navigate this stuff is by deciding what it is that is important and what it is that isn't. And by creating that separation between you and something that's no longer serving you, you then give yourself space to start to be really fair towards yourself. And when you can be really fair towards yourself, you start to then be in a place where you can manifest and create the kind of wealth that you want because you have the freedom within yourself to dedicate that energy to your ideas. Then your communications, like I said, this is somebody coming to visit from overseas, somebody from uh, afar that you know that is kind of like a friend or a relative or a mentor. And this is them coming to your home and you having a really great time with them. Uh, your emotions and your interactions and your communications kind of tell me that there's definitely opportunities um, for growth. There's definitely opportunities for growth within relationships and um, information or ideas may come 
at you uh, in ways that are unexpected, because Aquarius is ruled by Uranus, excuse me, as well as Saturn. And then finally, your actions and your emotions. Uh, this is about you really deciding, uh, you know, keeping your mind sharp and keeping your emotions in focus, but more importantly, keeping your emotions not necessarily controlled, but handled. It's like you can handle how you're feeling because you're able to really process what you're feeling. Um, so really, really exciting. Your key to the month card is... The Wheel of Fortune, beautiful. It's the first time this one's come out actually in this deck, so that's really exciting. The Wheel of Fortune is ruled by Jupiter and it kind of basically says, how far do you want to take something? It really is up to you this month. Um, it also says that whatever's taken a dip can only go up and whatever has reached its peak now has to wane. That is the cycle of life, it's the way that things go. It's human life is cyclic, the moon is cyclic, it's all cycles and seasons. To every season has its reason, yeah? It's that kind of energy. And the Wheel of Fortune is luck, it's expansion, it's growth. And it kind of tells you that your ideas and your intellect and your um, imagination on a practical level, on a, what's the word, not necessarily professional, um, on a logical, you know, this is you, you having the ability to expand things through logic. But it looks like a really good month for you. I wish you an abundance of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance itself. Um, thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, subscribes, for all of you that have donated to the channel. We're eternally grateful. Thank you so much. Have a great month and I will see you soon.